His appearance in a South African court comes two days after his arrest. Falgens Kaishema appeared calm and collected. Reports say the 62-year-old Rwandan genocide suspect faces five charges in South Africa, including two of fraud. The fraud counts relate to applications he made for asylum and refugee status in South Africa. South Africa's National Prosecuting Authority alleges he gives his nationality as Burundian and used a false name. Kaishema was not asked to enter a plea at Cape Town Magistrates Court. Be uh, opposing his bail application. One of the reasons, some of the reasons, or one of the reasons will include that he, there is a, he is wanted, uh, a wanted person uh, where on charges of genocide, which happened around 2000 and, and 1994 in, in Rwanda. So, and then there are also other reasons that will finish the court as we continue with the bail application. Kaishema's case has been adjourned to the 2nd of June. He will be held at Cape Town's Pulsmo prison ahead of his possible extradition to Rwanda. The former judicial police inspector was arrested in Pal, South Africa, in a joint operation with South African authorities. He has been on the run for two decades and on the U.S. State Department's wanted list under the Rewards for Justice program. In 2001, the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda indicted him over his alleged role in the destruction of the Nyange Catholic Church in Kibuya Prefecture during the 1994 genocide. An estimated 800,000 ethnic Tutsis and Hutu moderates were killed during the genocide. Chamrono, CGTN.